Numbers chapter 9 not only gives direction for Israel concerning the Passover and their travel through the wilderness, but it beautifully depicts the entry point for man's salvation and the Christian's responsibility to follow the Lord thereafter. In verses 1 through 14, the Lord establishes the Passover feast to be recognized every year on the 14th day of the first month at twilight. This was a beautiful time, a time to remember God's provision for salvation as he saved them from Egypt. They would sacrifice a lamb, apply the blood of the lamb upon the doorpost. They would eat a meal together and get ready to move. In this passage, Moses brings an interesting dilemma to the Lord. Can a person who's been defiled partake in the Passover celebration? And the Lord's answer would surprise many. He not only encourages the defiled to participate, verse 10, but he gives instructions to punish all who are able to participate, but do not, verse 13. You see, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, Romans 3.23 tells us. And in Romans 10, we're told that whoever calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. We are all defiled by sin, and that's why we are all to turn to, to trust in the Lord for His salvation. No one is excused from this. All are to look to and rely upon Jesus, the spotless Lamb. Only then will we escape from our prison of sin. Now, the second part of Numbers chapter 9, verses 15 through 23, perfectly describe what happens next in a believer's life having been saved. What are we to do? We are to follow and be led by the Lord, to follow him closely and daily. Verse 15 tells us that when the tabernacle, which was the place Moses met with the Lord, when it was raised, a cloud hovered overhead. But at night, the cloud would become a pillar of fire. And when the cloud moved, the people of Israel were expected to pack up camp and move. And when the cloud remained in place, the people were to remain as well and wait for the Lord's moving again. As they followed the Lord's leading, they would be assured that He would take care of and provide for them. And isn't that amazing? Isn't it beautiful? Does this not parallel the life of a believer today? Well, at least it should. The Bible tells us in Romans 8, 14, For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God. Church, may we celebrate the Lord's provision found in the Lamb, Jesus, who gave himself upon the cross, and may we be ready to move like the Israelites. May we seek the Lord earnestly, daily, desiring to walk with him. So when he moves, we will move. And when he remains, we will remain. And we will lack nothing of substance in this life. You are greatly loved, so go and greatly loved.